Hey everyone, today I'm really excited because I'm going to be starting a brand new series on how to make a memory matching game called Meow Match. And as you can probably guess, it's cat themed, surprise surprise, but if I press start you can see it shuffles a bunch of cool looking cats, it's very smooth, I can hover over all these, your health down here, and then your score. And if I click on them, you can see it does a cool animation, and then it gives me some score. And if I miss it, you can see that it damages me, and it does a cool shaking effect. Now, if if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I like to spice up things. So I added mystery cat. So right here is a mystery cat. Now there's two good mystery cats and two bad. So if I click this, this is a bad one. You can see that it just damaged me. This one is also a bad one. It just reshuffled all of our cards. This one's a good one. So you can see it's called spy cat and it just shows all the cards. So you have a chance to memorize them. Then there's one more that I haven't got yet, which is this one. This one's a love cat. And as you can see, it just healed my health back to full. If you're super excited for this, series and make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing and if you're not excited well still hit that like and drop a comment down below alrighty so I have two sprites one is cards and one is BG I'll start with the BG because it has less costumes it actually just has one it's like a board right here and then just a nice background then I have cards I have one through 12 in different cats I have number one which is like a gray cat number two which is an orange cat number three is a white cat number four is a black cat, number five is a Siamese cat, number six is a calico cat, I think, number seven is a tuxedo, I think, number eight is a nerd cat, number nine is sad cat, number ten is happy cat, number eleven is, I'm not sure, just cute cat, and number twelve is tom cat. So those are all the normal cards that you can match, and then number thirteen is a tornado cat, number fourteen is a rotten fish cat, not cat, number fifteen is love cat, and number sixteen is spy cat. Cat. Last but not least, number 17 is just a blank card, and number 18 is a mystery cat. If you don't feel like making all the art and you want to use my art, check the link in the description to get the art for this game. Let's start by making the background go to the right spot. So when green flag clicked forever, go to 0, 0, and pull out a divided by, and go ahead and put that in there. Now do 2, and then X position, and Y position. And I put this in the wrong sprite. We want this to be in the BG, so delete it from the cards and put it in the BG. Now if we make the BG go to like 50 as you can see in the beginning it will just slide back. Then we want to do go to back layer so it's always behind the card and for now that is good. Now let's make the cards shuffle themselves and make all the cards basically. When green flag clicked broadcast a new message named start. So when I receive start we are going to make a new variable for all sprites called total width. Make another variable total height for all sprites as well and click OK. Now we're going to set the total width to 0 and the total height to 0. Now we are going to go ahead and make a, another for all sprite variable called card width. Make another one called card height for all sprites as well. Now go ahead and set the card width and height to zero for now. Now we'll go back and fill these out later, but we're just setting this up now. Wait zero seconds, make a new block called grid, put a colon and then an X and then an input called X, a label called Y colon, an input called Y, then a label called padding with a colon and then a input called padding. And your block should look something like this. Now we can go ahead and do the grid right here. Here. So we're going to go ahead and set the padding to 8, the X to negative 237, and the Y to 98, which is the top of the board. Now let's go ahead and fill in these parameters. So for the width, I want it to be 6 cards wide, and the height is 4 cards. The card width, you have to go in here and look. You can see that my card width is 60 and height is 70. So we're going to set the width to 60 and the height to 70. So we're going to do go to X and Y, hide. Now we need to make a new list for all sprites called ID for all sprites. Now we're going to delete everything in that list. Next we are going to repeat 10 times, make a new variable for all sprites called total area. And now in the beginning right here we are going to set the total area right here to total width times total height. So we're going to go ahead and repeat the total area divided by 2. Add blank to ID. Repeat total height, then repeat total width inside of that. Then we're going to change x by 10 and change this to card width plus 
padding. Now we are going to switch costume to pick random 1 to 10 so it can switch to any of the costumes. And instead of 1 to 10, we're going to do 1 to total area divided by 2. Now we're going to create clone of myself so it makes a new clone. Then in this loop down here, we are going to change Y by the card height plus padding times negative 1 like so. And then we are going to set the X to X. Now go ahead and pull out a when I start as a clone show and clear the graphics effect. Here we go, look at this, we have our board printing. You can see that we can adjust all these settings, so if we set the padding to 2, the cards are very close together, but if we set it to 15, they're very far apart. Now we're going to make a for the sprite variable called card x, copy that, click ok, and then another one for the sprite only called card y. Now we're going to set both of those variables in the very beginning to x position and y position. Now we are going to go to 0, 0, and forever go to x position minus card x divided by 2. Put that in the x, duplicate that, and do y position minus card y divided by 2 here. So now in the beginning, you can see that it does a cool shuffling effect, and it's all lined up. That was the simple part. Now we need to do the complex part. They may be wondering, why is there a complex part? So here's why. We need when the clones are created for there to be two of every clone. There can't be more or less, because right now, as you can see, there are like one, two, three, four, five white cats. So we could match these two, match these two, but then this one's all by itself. So that's why it gets a little complex. So let's go ahead and make the script that's going to sort out the clones and make them have matches. Make a new block called list and run screen without refresh. Now put that above the create clone of myself. So before it creates the clone, it's going to do this script really quick. We are going to make a variable called clone ID for the sprite only, of course, and set that clone ID to the costume number. Number. Now we are going to repeat until item 1 of clone ID and change this to item clone ID is less than 2 because we want 2 cards. Switch costume to pick random 1 to total area divided by 2. Now we are going to set the clone ID to costume number and now all we need to do is replace item clone ID of ID with item clone ID of ID plus 1. Now you can see that when we start there are 2 of every card. Now let's make it to where it randomly spawns mystery cards. Now here's why this is complex as well. We can't just replace random cards, because say if we replace one yellow one and one Siamese cat one, now the Siamese and yellow don't have a matching pair. So we have to replace two of the same card. To do this, we're going to go ahead and add an if statement to if clone ID is equal to, and now we need to go ahead and make a new list called replace for all sprites and click OK. Now over here, delete all of replace. Then repeat pick random 1 to 2. We're going to add pick random 1 to 12 to replace. Now if clone ID is equal to item 1 of replace or statement clone ID is equal to item 2 of replace, then set the clone ID to pick random 13 to 16. So you can see that 13 is the first special cat, 14, 15, 16 is the last. And now in this forever loop, go ahead and do switch costume to the clone ID. Now you can see when we start, it replaces two matches with a special card. This time we got two love cats and two tornado cats. Now let's go ahead and do turn 15 degrees here and do 90 minus direction divided by three. Next add a when I start as a clone here, then a switch costume to blank. So now you can see that when it's shuffled, they are all blank. So we need to somehow keep track of if the card is a special card or not. We'll make a new for the sprite only variable called is mystery cat. Now in this loop at the very top set is mystery cat to false and also set is mystery cat false in here. Then right here go ahead and set it to true. If else in here and do if is mystery cat is equal to true, then switch costume to the mystery cat. Else, wait three seconds forever, switch costume to blank. So now you can see all the cards are shown except the mystery cats, and after three seconds, they all hide. Now let's make that look a bit better. So first, change size by, duplicate this in this forever loop, and do 100 minus size divided by three as well. And now we can go ahead and do change size by negative five, set the brightness effect to 
80, switch costume, blank, and make sure you put that underneath this weight 3 seconds, turn 8 degrees counterclockwise, repeat 8 times, change the brightness effect by negative 10, then clear the graphics effects, and then do the forever loop. Now you can see that when it shows, it looks a lot better. It kind of does a cool animation that transitions into the blank sprite. Cool. Last but not least, let's add one more when I start as a clone forever. If we are touching the mouse pointer, go forward one layer, turn 0 0.5 degrees, and change size by 5. You can see that when we hover over a card, it kind of gets a little bigger, and it's like we're getting ready to select it. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing. But anyway, this has been Owen, and I'm out.